Hello everyone, this is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. In this video, I want to show you five different ways of converting dates using a period separator, that's like a full stopper separator, to a proper date using either a slash or, you know, converting it to one of the proper Excel date formats. So let's get into it. What do I have? So here, I have 15.10.22, which is also to be 15th of October 2022. But as you can see, this is in general format. So Excel is not seeing a date in there. If I try to use a function like day of this, you see it gives me an hash value error. Whereas when I try it on column C, which is a proper data, uh, proper date format, you know, that works. So let's get into the methods for making this conversion happen. First one, find and replace, very straightforward, which is probably my preferred. You know, I select the data, I'm just gonna create a copy of it just so we can see before and after. So here, I just press Control H, that's find and replace. What do I want to find? I want to find a full stop, and I want to replace it with what? A slash, okay? And I do replace all. Now you can see that everything has been converted. I can put it in my preferred date format, Control Shift 3, and that's fine. Next one, using what? Flash fill. So what I can do for this is very simple. I just repeat the format just like it is here. So I say 15, 10, uh 22 or i could do 2022 excel recognizes that i select the entire data using that first data set as my sample and say can you see the pattern between column b and c once you can replicate that pattern all the way down so i press ctrl e right and everybody is fixed okay next one is using what the substitute function now the substitute function is technically just the formula approach to doing find and replace. So how does the substitute work? Very simple. Substitute, text. This is my text. What's my old text? That's what am I looking for? What's my find? Which is a full stop. Put it in double quotes. Then new text, which is my replace. I put what? A slash. Now this should work ordinarily, but the challenge you have here is that this is going to be a text, right? So you need to find a way to convert this into numbers. The easiest way is just to add a zero to it. So do plus zero, control enter. You can see we have that. Take it down and we are fine, okay? Next one is using, I say formulas. This is just the long approach, but well, why not just put it out there so people can see it? This is breaking things apart. I know that the first two characters are the day, you know, the uh, fourth and fifth character, that's the month, then the uh, seventh and eighth character, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven and eight character, the year. So I'm just going to extract everything and concatenate them with a hyphen. Simple. So first of all, I start with the left function to pick the day. I pick two characters. So that picks for me, in this case, 15. I concatenate that with, you know, putting a hyphen. I concatenate that with what the month will be. The month is picking from the middle, mid. You pick the cell. Now, what character does it start from? We know that the day is two characters. The full stop here is the third. So one is the fourth character. So fourth character, and you pick two. After that, what do you do? You add a hyphen again to it. And then you now have to pick the year, which in this case is just from the right, picking two characters. So right, and you select this cell, and you pick two. Okay? And then we take this down. Okay? So... Now, what do I want to do? First of all, I want to paste it as values so that you can see something. Control C, paste as values, Alt ESV. Now, once you do that, you see that you have a one in here, right? And when you click the indicator, you see what it says. You could just hover over. It said this cell contains date strings represented with only two digits as the year. Why is that a problem? Because you never really know. Is this 1922 or is this 2022? You get the problem, right? Which is why sometimes it's good to have it as what? Four characters. Of course, if it's a transaction, we know it's most likely 2022. If we are doing that next year, if you are referring to like date of birth or something. But I mean, it's good to be explicit, right? So what I'm going to do here is just to say convert XX to 20XX because I know in this case, they are all in the 20s, right? And I have everything converted, okay? So that's one other way. Last way I want to show here is text to columns, which is a really long approach. Well, since we are here, we might as well just do it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to break it apart using text to columns, and then I'm going to use the date function to bring it all back together again. 
So I select the data. I'll then launch uh, the text to columns feature. I can use Alt Alpha Echo, Alt AE. I could also use Alt DE. Okay. And I'm using, of course, a delimited approach. I do next. I know that it's going to be a full stop, right? But I don't have that option here. So I can do order and I put a full stop in there. It breaks it apart for me just the way I want it. I do next. The only thing I'm going to do here is that, you know, if you just continue, it's going to overwrite your original data. So just change your location to a different cell. So maybe, for example, in this case, just here, right? And then do finish. So this is what it looks like. So this is your day, this is your month, and this is your year. Okay. And then you can then use um, the date function to bring them together. So date, the date needs the year. Because I know these are in the 20s, like 2000s, I'll just add, say, 2000 to whatever I have as the year so that it will be 2022. Comma, my month, don't forget the order is year, month, day. Either way, irrespective of your date format. But you can then format your date to show in any way. But in entering into the date function, you need to use it in that format, year, month, day, and day. Okay? Then you do control enter and what? You take it down and you're pretty much. Fine. So that's really what this video is about, just to show you different ways of fixing a date that has a period as the date separator as opposed to a slash or as opposed to being the proper date. So if you like this video, you can hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel, Excel Moments, for more insightful videos like this. For now, I'm out.